Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Bone YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the topic limited contact dynamic compression plate which is also known as LCDCP. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the topic limited contact dynamic compression plate. So we have already discussed about the dynamic compression plate in our previous video and this is a continuation of that and in this video we are going to discuss about this LCDCP plates. So under the surface of the dynamic compression plate, we have given few cuts and those cuts were called as undercuts. And because of that, this is going to leave less footprint over the bone after the fixation. And this was helpful to the patients. So when you take a cross section, okay, in the DCP plates, it was leaving a rectangular footprint and this was leading to fractures after the implant removal and how about this lcdcp okay this lcdcp it was leaving a trapezoidal footprint over the bone and this was a little better when compared with the dcp plate complications and however so to reduce the complications of lcdcp plates again orthopedicians has come up with point contact fixator However, the results were not good, then comes with the locking compression plate. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the topic locking compression plate. So what was the need for locking compression plate when there was already available conventional plates? So what are conventional plates? Conventional plates are DCP and LCDCP. So we call together as conventional plates. So whenever there is some implant failure or whenever the plate backs out that is called that is very common that is very common in conventional plating so just to come out of that we have come up with locking compression plate whenever we fix locking compression plate the implant failure is minimal or remote so what was the benefit with the locking compression plate? So we don't need to fix the plate onto the bone. We can leave some gap and so automatically there is no footprint developed on the periosteal region. So whenever we put a locking plate, the plate also has serrations to fix the screw and the screw head also has these threads to fix onto the plate of the locking compression plate. So because of this mechanism, it acts as a single unit and there is no implant fa failure seen very easily with locking compression plate. 